In this example, we'll be looking at the following TIGs. 3.2c, students is expected to use fraction names and symbols to describe fraction parts as whole objects as, or set of objects. And then 310a, the student is expected to locate and name points on a number line using whole numbers and fractions. So, in this story here, Joshua made four gallons of lemonade to serve at the soccer game. When the game was over, Joshua had one whole gallon and three-fourths of another gallon left. And we're going to answer the following questions. The first question talks about what will that look like as a number? So if I want to express that fraction as a number, it would be one and three-fourths. So one referring to one whole number and then three-fourths of another number. Okay, So one and three-fourths. Then here, we're going to look at between which two whole numbers is your number. Well, one and three fourths is between one. Get my pen. One and two. So somewhere in between there is one and three fourths. And what I'm saying is, which whole number is this number closest to? And I believe it's closer to two. Well, let Let me see if I can show you why I believe that. On my number line, if I had it, and this was zero gallons, and then this was one gallon, okay? Then if I broke the other, and this was two, I'm going to have to divide. So if this was two, it will be like one-fourths, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. So it will be like one-fourths, two-fourths, three-fourths, and then four-fourths will be two. Okay, and what I'm saying is that one whole number, this is going to one, that's one gallon, okay, and now we have to go three fourths of the way. So as I'm going, I'm just going one, that's one fourth, two fourth, three fourths, that's my, that's the answer, which will be one and three fourths, and it is closer to two, as you can see here. This concludes this quick video.